Good morning guys. I'm going to do a little thinking out loud in my car again and hopefully it won't be too scatterbrained. I'm trying to figure out and I have been trying to figure out this whole container thing. So as you well know or you should know there are somewhere around 550,000 containers sitting on ships off of the port of Los Angeles and predominantly those containers come from the sea nation, large Asian nation. Um, some of them probably come from Malaysia, Taiwan, and other areas over there, but predominantly that's a large Asian nation shipping stuff to us. And they're not being offloaded. The city of Los Angeles owns that port, the largest port in the nation. Um, and apparently they're not operating all their cranes. I don't know if it's a separate entity, a separate company that owns the actual cranes and the company that, you know, performs all the logistics of offloading, but, um, they're not, they're not moving. And the process has been severely, severely slowed down. You should all know this already. I'm not saying anything new here. I'm just trying to figure out why. And what I'm thinking is... What if we were at war right now and we didn't even know it? What if this whole thing is some form of asymmetrical warfare? Now, you would think if we were at war, we would know it. Our troops would be deployed. You'd hear bombs going off, sirens, alarms. Um, you'd, you'd see jets flying over, that kind of thing. But what if this was a silent war, an economic war? A war of the corporations or the, the business class. So all those containers that are sitting off the coast of Los Angeles right now, those um, contain goods that, you know, big businesses like, I mean, every business that purchases anything that comes from large Asian nation, which is most of them, um, all those goods are already paid for. So these big corporations, furniture companies, Walmart, Target, Lowe's, and everywhere in between, they've already paid for these goods and that's why they got shipped over the ocean. Um, there's no such thing as like collect, uh, collect on delivery or anything. So these goods are paid for already. They've already shelled out the, min the money for it. And now they're goods are sitting in these containers right off the coast and they cannot get them on the shelves. They cannot get them to the consumer to recoup the funds that they shelled out in the first place. So, I don't know who could possibly be in control of this, but it could be us which doesn't make sense. It could be large Asian nation, which kind of makes sense. I just don't see how they might have control over stuff that's happening at the ports unless they have people that they have paid off in positions of power to control those ports. And I'm trying to keep my thoughts together here, but basically what I'm saying is if you want to hurt some large corporations, some really, really big corporations, and you are a large Asian nation, you would find some way for the goods that they have already paid for to not make it into the hands of the consumer so that basically, eventually, they will go bankrupt. They just won't have the funds flowing. They're, you know, you can't keep on, um, pouring out more money and more money and more money for goods, there has to be cash flow. They have to sell the actual product and get it in the hands of the consumer to be able to buy more goods. And if they've already put out all this money and basically can't sell the stuff, there's not, they won't last very long. The consumers here in the United States are going to gobble up those goods. They're going to consume everything that has already made it into the stores and then there will be no new product to put out or very little new product to go out i've owned businesses before and if you are if you are dishing out money and and not keeping the the cash flow coming in you will not last long and this the whole shipping process um the whole supply chain 
process is very, very fragile. Um, and it can't sustain itself if the products aren't getting out there. So maybe we are already at war. And large Asian nation has found a way to get into or maybe pay off. I'm totally speculating here, by the way. Um, but we know that people are paid off all over in the higher echelons by large Asian nation. Um, people take money. People do just about anything for money, especially people who already are money hungry and have these, you know, are CEOs of these large corporations or are in positions of power. They'll do anything for more money and more power. So maybe somebody's been paid off there in the ports to halt things, to stop things, so that businesses will go under. Maybe it won't affect the big businesses as much. Maybe this whole thing is just going to stop and shut down all the small businesses. I don't know if any of this has made much sense, but I'm just trying to think it out, and it does not seem organic. The whole container shortage, truck driver shortage, um, and all those ships sitting off the port of Los Angeles does not make sense to me, and it almost feels like we are at war. That's what it feels like to me. Please tell me your thoughts down below, and maybe together we can brainstorm and get some clarity here on what this is all about. Anyway, you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.